Hello, I'm Pat Tice, WA0TDA, and today we're going to take a quick look at the interface for the W4MQ Internet Remote Base software. We're going to be looking at the client side. This is the software that I would download from handyham.org slash remote base and use to control someone else's remote base station. The client software is what I install on my home computer when I don't have a station myself at my location. So I'm controlling a remote station through the internet. Let's take a look. Here we're taking a look at the TS-480 Internet Remote Control. This is the W4MQ software and the station that we're looking at is W0ZSW. You can see that the station is in use by W6HT on 7170 kilohertz. Well, this station isn't available for us to use, so we'll use the drop-down menu and we'll pick another station. W0EQO is available. Now, let's make sure that we have the sound type selected. IRB sound is set as default and we'll just keep that because we're only going to do some receiving tests here anyway. We're going to log in and when we log in and connect there'll be an area that shows that it is in use by your call sign WA0TDA it says RX slash TX, that means I have receive and transmit capability, and the frequency is 14.195. I can change to a different frequency, let's say 14.3, and now I'm on the Hurricane Net Watch frequency. If I wanted to transmit, I would use the push to talk which is also activated by the computer's spacebar. To tune, I can simply select a significant digit and then I can go up or down with the up or down arrows on the keyboard. I can also go left and right with the computer keyboard er arrows so I can tune quite easily that way this graphic representation of a knob can actually be dragged and turned and the frequency is changing as you can see as I move the mouse around the graphic representation of a knob. So let's get back to our frequency here. and now I'm hearing stations again. The mode can be changed by clicking here and I could choose whatever mode I want. Of course for 20 meters we're going to want upper sideband. There are some other features here too. RF gain slider. AF gain uh, can be moved but it's disabled and won't make any difference and the squelch can be changed uh, if you do happen to mess up the RF gain or the squelch, both of these settings will return to normal when you close the software and then start it up again. It's also possible to mess up the split and um, you may use split if you operate DX, but most people don't use split normally every day and you don't want to use split if you intend to transmit on the same frequency as that you receive on. So um, split is another thing that will return to normal uh, just simplex operation after you close the software and then re and uh, start it up again. So that should go back to a regular uh, non-split operation. If you do get the radio into split mode Split will appear up here in the top part of the screen and to turn that off I would just select Split again. 
and receive and transmit are equal. The log off button will get you logged off and if I click that I get a screen that says you are about to log out of the current web transceiver session and I'm going to do that disconnecting and I might get a quick checking status and now W0EQO shows up as available. When I'm using this station my call sign would be visible to other people who have this software. It would be read here and it would say in use by WA0TDA on 14.300 megahertz. So that's how it works. That's a quick introduction to the interface of the W4MQ HandyHam remote base software.